All right, guys. Okay, so I want to do something because right now um, with this $49 enrollment for distributor promotion till the end of the month, we have a lot of new distributors on right now, but we also have a lot that are coming. And so even though we all have systems in place for training, Jessica, I can't handle you right now. <laughs> um, even though we have systems in place for training, um, it's always nice to have something that maybe you can send them to elaborate on it. So um, this is going to be something that you can use, you know, during this next week that's relevant still. So I want to go over everything, right? The basics, the six things that we do each day, our six list. Um, but before I do that, I want to just share something with you guys um, because someone had said it to me. And so I just want you guys to know, number one, I am not oblivious. Okay. I recognize that things are happening in the world right now. I recognize it. Okay. But I choose not to focus on it because it will pass and either we can come out of this bigger and better or wish we would have. I'm not oblivious, but like posting negative things, talking negative things, it's not going to make anyone feel better. And I mean, I have watched and um, listened to so many like business owners, you know, like Gary V, all that kind of stuff on Instagram, talking about it live, all that kind of stuff. And they're like, guys, this is going to pass. And you know, who's going to grow? The people who are still standing strong, the people who are still here. And so, um, just a little backtrack just to actually give you guys like why I know this is because for some reason our business thrives in recessions. We're not in a recession like we were, you know, a long time ago, but it works as biggest boom. I had just started my business and there were literally people and you might be new and not even know what this means, but there was people going triple diamond, presidential diamond, ambassador diamond, under you that you didn't even know their name yet. That's the kind of growth that was happening. And um, coming in December, this last December, a lot of us felt it. We were like, I just feel like 2020 is going to be like super legit. Like it's going to be the biggest, like we didn't know why. And honestly, my January wasn't the biggest. And I was like, I still feel it, but I don't see it, you know? And this is it. And this might not be the way that we prayed for it to happen or thought it was going to happen. Um, but this is exactly what's happening. And we have the solution for people. You are not doing any wrong by sharing about your business or sharing about your products on social media, because you know what, you know, who's all over my Instagram stories, Tori Birch boutiques, like they're not stopping, but at least we can give people something of value. Okay. We get to give them something of value and I'm going to come out bigger and better and you have to be here to see it. So, um, I'm going to call on some of the other leaders too, just so you guys don't fall asleep listening to me. Um, and if you guys, you know, put an amen in the chat so you don't fall asleep. <laughs> if I say something that you like, because I know some, some of you guys, all of this is, it, you already know it, right? But you still show up. Appreciate you. Okay. so. We're going to talk about um, posting first. Now, this is the number one thing I truly believe because whether you message or whether you don't message and you use attraction marketing, you have to put out content, period, end of story. I see some of you guys and you're like, I'm messaging and I go to your page and you haven't posted in two weeks. And I'm like, why, why do you think anyone is going to join your business? Like they're not going to. So, um, this is my routine, you guys. And if you are a, I'll just go ahead and say a double diamond or up and you have <laughs> a suggestion in the comments, put it in the chat. Okay. So Jessica, you need to calm down over there with your dancing. Okay. So, um, I, do at least one to two business posts a day. Okay. So that might be, um, direct and then indirect. So indirect meaning, um, you know, it's so awesome that I'm just able to make this extra income and, um, I'm, I'm on break at my current job. Super simple. That's indirect. Direct is like, Hey guys, maybe you want to do this business with me and make some extra money. You should reach out to me because I know you would do well. You know, that's like very like, Hey, come to me and it has a call to action. And I hope you guys are taking notes. 
I see you, Stephanie, taking notes. Love it. Um, she's like, I do taxes or whatever, so I'm, gonna, I'm green. Um, so you guys, um, call to actions are very, very important. I don't always put them on a post, but at least every other post and stories, you need it always um, because people have to feel invited. They have to feel invited into your business, invited to purchase your products, invited to your team. They just have to. So like I said, a call to action might be like text opportunity to blah, 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 phone number, comment below your favorite emoji or on stories. It would be, you know, reply biz, whatever. Um, so something simple like that, that's called a call to action. Okay. So with, um, I give my actual number. I've never had any problems with it. So yeah, I give my actual number. They're like opportunity. I'm like, yeah. So I've never had any problems with it in seven, over seven years, never once. So, um, and if I did, I, I wouldn't teach you guys that, but I promise you've never had any problems. So, um, as far as posting you guys, this is what is going to be so important. And I love it too, because we can all be on the same page. Cause we talked to you about like, you can do parties, you can do pop-up shops, you can do this, you can do that. But guess what? All y'all only using social media right now. So I love it. So we can all be on the same page. So as far as posting, guess what is going to make people stop your pictures. That's it. Your pictures. So it, this is the, this is the sequence, your picture, the first line of your post, and it, then that's going to determine if they actually read it. Okay. So pictures, um, you guys have heard me say this a thousand times over. They have, they don't have to be perfection, but they do have to be like clear, right? Like good quality photo. So for me, what I do is I'm always outside or in front of a window. Always. I have, I'm like, babe, we're going outside. You're going to take some photos of me. He knows the drill. If, if I come downstairs dressed, he's like, all right, where are we going? <laughs> we're going to the front door or we're going to the back door always. And so you guys just got to get comfortable with that, you know, and let's just say you guys do work a full-time job. And most of you guys do all you're going to do is you're going to be like, babe, we're going to the front yard today. And I'm going to change my shirt three times and my shoes two times. And then we're going to go to the backyard and then I'm going to, you know, change my pants and change into a dress and put a hat on, you know, like, and guess what? You have content for weeks and weeks and weeks. Like that is, that's why it's super important to do this. So your pictures. So how I edit my photos, you guys, is I use the Lightroom app. Okay. Um, the Lightroom app, it's, it's basically for, for professionals, but it's free and you can use it yourself. All I do is I go to Etsy. Okay. Go to Etsy and you get a preset that you like. Okay. Just type in preset and it will put the same filter on all your photos. If you search the hashtag on Instagram, Instagram preset, you can also find one that like other people have maybe used. So you could see if you like it, right? Like if you are a blonde, don't pick one that a brunette looks great in because it will wash you out or vice versa. So it just won't look right. Um, everybody always asks me which one I use. I, on Etsy, you can pay like $5. I paid like $40 for mine. I watched this girl for like three months and I was like, I'm too cheap for this, but I committed and I was grateful. So it's this girl Meg leg on Instagram, M E G L E G. Okay. So super simple. Um, and that's the one that I use. Okay. Um, and some of you guys might be like, it's so hard to figure it out. Just figure it out. Like, at this point, I want you guys to be su successful, so I don't want to give you any shortcuts. I know what is going to work and what's going to make your pictures look the best, and this is what it's going to be. So just do it this way, okay? Um, am I lagging or is it her? This will be recorded, though, but that doesn't mean you should jump off or anything. Okay, so posting. Now, um, the next couple tips for posting, and then I'll have somebody else that I know hella messages talk about that. So. Um, you guys, as far as your posts, I see a lot of us share a lot of posts of each other's and that's great, but you have to add a personal touch into it. You have to, have to, have to, have to, even if you, you steal all of Ashley's, uh, you know, posts, okay, steal them all. But when she talks about, oh my gosh, my kids or whatever, like switch it to your lifestyle. Oh my gosh, my dogs. I don't care. Whatever it is. That's the lifestyle that you're going to put into it. And it gives for a great, like a great start. I do that. 
Like if I am just like, I'm brain fart, I will go to, I'll do two things to figure out posts. I'll go to other people's pages and I'll just kind of look and I'll be like, okay, this looks good. And I'll take it, put it in my notes in my phone and I'll change the first line. I'll change some of the text. And then all of a sudden it's this brand new post that I made. I just needed the template. You know, I just needed help. Um, so that's a great way. But you guys, if you are not putting a personal touch into it, no one cares, right? So if I see Jessica's post and then I see Alexis's post and Alexis is, says, oh my gosh, guys, like I am, I'm so grateful. Like I'm working from home or I don't care. It doesn't really matter if you're working from home. You can work from wherever normally, but let's just say, you guys, like I'm able to make this extra income and you know, I love my job, but I would love to be able to pay for vacations and that's what I'm going for. So you're sharing a goal. I'm so excited about it and I would love to help you get going um, as well, you know, and help you reach a goal similar. There's going to be Alexa's post and there's going to be Jessica's and Jessica's is like, Hey guys, um, you can make a lot of money here and you should join my team. They're just going to scroll right over Jessica's. There was nothing, nothing personal. <laughs> She's so mad. I just used her as an example. Um, there's nothing personal towards it. And there's nothing that is giving them a connection. Alexis's, they're like, ooh, I love to take vacations. I want to take vacations too. Jessica's, they're like, I could go get another job if I wanted to just make more money, right? That's, that's what people are going to say. Um, so there has to be something personal into, into it. But um, like I said, the secret is doing it daily. Print out that roadmap to diamond in 90 days um, checklist in the team page. That takes an hour. You guys, that is, it, it's an hour. That's it. That's all it takes to work this business. And if you're skipping your posts or skipping your stories, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Um, I'll, I'll answer questions at the end. Sorry. So that's what I do with posting. Do any of you guys really quick before we move on, have questions about posting? Okay. Cause this is so important. If you don't post consistently, why? I'm serious. Like I'm asking you, why don't you post consistently? Cause if you say you don't know what to post while well, you're lying to yourself, because I've told you a hundred times, go to other leaders, the people that are on that top distributor enroller, um, on the team page, it's right there. Okay. Those are the people to follow. Okay. That's where you can get ideas. Um, we have a post ideas post. We have a first 30 days of posting in the team page. You guys have it all. If you're not doing it, I'm just going to straight up call you lazy. I am just straight up. So, um, for me, I like to post my business posts. Now I do two of them. Sometimes I just do one. I always get the most interaction like after five o'clock, but obviously for the next month, it's going to be a little different. People might be on all the time. People might be on after five o'clock, but not everybody has lost their job. Not everybody's going bankrupt. Like there's actually 80 or 90% of the world. That's totally fine. They're just got to stay home for a month. So speaking of that, like you can't, you can't slow down like what you're doing. But for me personally, um, after five o'clock still seems to work and be the best right now. Okay. Um, now with posting, I'll go over stories really quick. Okay. So we all love to steal each other's stories and it's fine. We can screenshot them and use them. But if you take someone's story and it is blurry, don't even bother. Why is this like, is this lagging? Okay. All right. Haley, you're taking my screen. I need to calm down. What is, how do I like stop her from doing this? Haley, Haley cops. She's taking my screen guys. Okay, this is weird. Uh, okay, I'm sorry guys, this is really just obnoxious. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, thank you to me for fixing it. Okay, <laughs> all right, anyways. All right guys, stop mess messing with your stuff. Okay, so stories, you guys. This app over is all I'm going to teach you because guess what? You can do everything with it. It's called over. It's all in one place. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful app. You can do everything you've ever wanted with that app, okay? But like I said, if you're going to screenshot people's stories, if they're blurry, just don't. Just don't do it. But if you find that I made a story and it is very um, like general and you can take it, what you can do is you can actually pull it up on the app, you guys. Pull up that photo. Let me just see really quick. Pull up that photo and then you can actually just add an image on top of it and you can just basically put your photo on top of theirs. That's a great way to borrow someone's story. We all do it. Um, but guess what stories I have the most people reply to? It's the ones that I make about where I'm going, what we're doing, or shouting someone else out. Okay. I know it can be hard when you're brand new to kind of like figure out what your story is. Um, but what I suggest for you guys is to just make a list, make a, make basically making a dream board list. So everything that you would love in the next five years, whether it's to pay off debt, whether it's a new car that can be safe, um, whether it's, you know, to purchase a house, um, whether it's to bring your husband home, whether it's to, you know, pay for your kid's dance class, put all those things, put all those things on a list. Those are the things that you can talk about on your stories until you have made money. Um, and you can't ever use that as an excuse because everybody joins not making money. You have to cast a vision for the people watching you, right? Like it's super simple. Um, sorry, there's a lot of, okay, sorry. Um, I'm reading all the chats. Okay. So does that make sense with stories, you guys? And for stories, I always have at least 10 up. So usually like four or five slides of a business. And then I don't know, my kids running around. It doesn't really matter. Personal stuff. People love to watch videos of your kids or you talking or you using a product or you going through your clothes. Like people just love to watch that stuff. Just super random. Okay. And then product ones, um, after that. Okay. So yes, just like Whitney said, where you were before it works, what was your objection and where are you going? So what made you not start right away? What held you back? What were you scared of? And then where you're going, because 99% of people are going to have the same objection that you had. Um, so that's a great template. Uh, Whitney just put it in the chat. Okay. So let's talk about messaging. Let me look for some of my favorite messengers. Um, well, I, Ashley, I see your face really brightly here. Would you like to share? Yeah. So and she's going to pull diamond this month. What was? It's so crazy, guys. Um, so messaging is literally the key to my business. And the way I explain it is that messaging is the seeds, right? Because I post and I do everything else. But if I'm not messaging, then I'm not planting those new seeds because the way the algorithms work, you're never going to see my post. Any of my friends, I have 5,000 friends, but nobody's going to be seeing my post unless I send them that message. And what happens when you have your stories filled? That your little circle turns blue and it has that little blue circle around your face, right? So I send post to post messages and I'll tell you guys like what I do for that. But just the act of sending them a message, it does not matter if you're messaging for distributors, you're messaging any, send them a message, you do not care. A birthday message, but they're going to see your blue circle and they're going to click on it and they're going to see your stories and your stories is what's going to draw them in like we were talking about. But if I never sent that message, they probably wouldn't have viewed my story. So that's why I feel like messaging, like it all goes, plays in together, but you have to plant that seed with the message. And even though I feel like for so many of us, it's the part that we're most afraid of. Like we're just afraid to message people or afraid to talk to people, but it's the part that you have to do. And as soon as you get over that fear, the sooner you're going to be like, wow, like my business really is exploding. Um, and it truly is like a numbers game and with messaging guys. So I message for host to post. If you guys don't know what that is, it's really simple. You can do something like a simple giveaway if you want. You can do right now as a team. We have, um, it was Disneyland, but we switched it over to a cash giveaway. So you guys can all promote that. 
Um, but even month to month, if we're not doing something as a team, you can offer, you know, if I get a customer on your post, I'll give you a free sample, something simple. But honestly, the people that are willing to put up a post for you are going to do it regardless of if you're offering them something or not. Okay. So I just message people and I keep it really simple. I feel like the shorter, the best, the better for host to post where I'm just like, Hey girl, I'm hosting a raffle for $400 cash. Can I get you an entry by tagging me in a post or putting up a post for me? And the thing is with this, some people say yes. And that's great because for host to post, I'm going for that. Yes. And I want them to put up a post for me so I can get those like instant customers, things like that. But majority of people ignore me. And I can tell you, I enroll at least 10 distributors a month minimum. And I can tell you at least half or more of my distributors came from a host to post at some way, or I messaged them from a host to post and they ignored me. They've ignored me two times. They've ignored me three times. And then they end up joining my team at some point or another. So it really goes to show you how it comes around full circle. So if people are ignoring your messages, that's okay. Your seed was planted. And as long as you're staying consistent with everything else and you don't quit, because that's the only way to fail. I know because I did quit this business at one point. <laughs> so I can tell you like firstly, I'm the only way to fail in this business is to quit. And as long as you're sending out those messages and you're staying consistent with everything that goes with it, it's going to come around for a circle, but you have to give it time and you have to send out messages. So for me, I only do host to post messages, but every single person that puts up a post for me, they're getting offered the business. So it kind of pulls around. I love that so much. And you guys, it's so true. Like, so I'll just be real honest, like two weeks ago, Honestly, I hadn't signed a distributor in like a week and a half or two weeks. And I was like, I'm really stressed out. Um, just cause whatever my, uh, standards for myself, like, I feel like I can't lead you guys if I am not doing it. So, um, I was talking to Aaron about it and he's like, well, have you been messaging? And I'm like, why don't you message? Right. So <laughs> he straight up called me out. I'm like, but I've been doing everything else. He's like, but you know, like, you know, and it's funny because I was, he literally kicked me out of the house and he's like, go to the car and just message for like 30 minutes. And I was like, fine. So I messaged and literally the next day I signed a distributor. That distributor did not come from those messages. I honestly feel like it's the law of attraction. When you start to put out there that, okay, I'm going to message and I'm going to work to sign distributors and customers, all of a sudden the law of attraction snaps in and it's like, oh, they just start to come to you. And the people who have maybe watched your post, but they didn't come from a message, they're gonna come to you. So I just want to make sure you guys know what host to post is. So we have a $450 giveaway. Obviously, if somebody signed up, it signed you up, you probably saw that. Um, so all you do is you say, hey, Sally, um, I'm doing a $450 cash giveaway with my team. I would love to enter you into it. Would you be willing to post something on your wall for me and just tagging me in it and I can give you an entry? Super simple. There's a hundred versions of this that you can say. It really doesn't matter. Put your own special touch on it. And then um, they say yes and you can give them either a product or a business one. Um, in the team page announcements, section. Okay. In the make it happen team page announcement section, there is that Disneyland, um, picture or like Disneyland ticket picture. What I'm saying right now is in the comments of that. All the scripts are in the comments of that, what you reach out, what you post and, um, the, the post that you give them, it's all right there. Okay. Um, so this is super, super awesome. And, um, so she doesn't even, she doesn't even bother like just straight up offering the business. She has them do host a post and then offers the business, which is awesome. That's what Amanda was saying last week. Now for me, you guys, I just go straight into offering the business. Um, and I, I it's just straight up confidence. I'm like, I'm going to voice message you and offer you the business. And I know you're going to start to watch you watch me. Um, and then when I'm doing a host to post or a giveaway or this or that or whatever, then I'm like, okay, you should do it too. Right. And then when their post blows up, they're excited about doing the business, whatever. So like she said, it doesn't matter how you message. It just matters that you get in their inbox. Um, now I will say, honestly, those are the only two ways I think you should be messaging. Um, I do not suggest messaging for product. Um, I, I just personally, I just don't feel like it's, I just don't feel like it works. It, it used to for some people, but it never really worked for me. And I, I just think this is the chain of command. Okay. Distributor, customer, 
samples. <laughs> That's your goal because more likely than not, not everybody's going to say yes to becoming a distributor, obviously. So then you can, you know, offer them, okay, well, why don't you, this is what I do. If they say something, well, I don't know the product, never tried it. I'm like, okay, well, why don't we get you to be a customer first? And then once you love it, we will get you going as a distributor, right? Because then either way, they're in the computer. And I know when they try the products, they're going to fall in love with them anyways. And then it's like all done, right? So that's super simple, you guys. But here's the deal. Um, the secret about messaging, it is the law of attraction and what you believe, but it's also actually like Facebook and Instagram algorithms. So when you have one like or one comment on your post, the reason for that is because people are probably not seeing your stuff. If you post a funny meme and it has a hundred likes and then you post a business post and it has one like, they're seeing your stuff. They're just creeping. And that's okay. I don't mind. I'm like, I see you guys. I know you've seen all my stuff and that's okay. I want, I want it to be like that. That's how you want it to be. Okay. Um, but if you post a funny meme and you have one like on it, they're just not seeing your stuff. And when you message people, Facebook says, Oh, you and Haley are friends. I'm going to show her stuff to you and your stuff to her. Okay. So it, there actually is like a science behind it. When you don't message, ain't nobody see your stuff. Okay. So that's super important that you do that. Um, now, um, which of my awesome leaders would like to talk about growing your network that maybe did not have a good network. I did not, you guys, I had like 200 Instagram followers and like 150 Facebook friends and they were all high school people that I didn't like and they didn't like me and <laughs> it didn't matter anyways. <laughs> oh, Mikhail, do you want to share? Oh, 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 okay. Uh, okay, we'll do, uh, we'll do Shandy first since you just uh, shared Ashley. I know she's like, I'm going to run this thing. <laughs> Where are you? No. Sorry, guys. I had to take off the feature where I let you unmute yourselves because y'all get crazy. Where are you? Wave your hands. Wave your hands so I can see you. Oh, oh, there. Okay, there. Wow, this is hilarious. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so um, when I started with this business, I actually did not even have a Facebook at all. Um, Christy had followed me years prior and found me on Facebook. And then when I deleted my Facebook, um, I ended up just having Instagram only. And I was like dead set that I was not going to use Facebook at all for this business. And she's like, okay, girl, well, you know, yeah, you don't have to use Facebook. I'm like, okay. So I tried that and obviously that did not work. And I will say that most of my business comes definitely from my Facebook. Um, I feel like that's the one that has grown the quickest for me. Um, and so I have my profile is set to um, public. Um, and same with my Instagram. I've kind of go, gone back and forth with that one. I feel like I go private, then I go, you know, back to um, um, public and I kind of just try to switch it up and see what gets the most um, followers. But I definitely feel like with my Facebook, it's gotten quite a few followers in very quickly, um, considering I didn't have a, a Facebook platform at all. I actually started it just simply because she's like, girl, I just need you to make one just so that you at least have the team page. But um, I feel like I've gotten more comfortable with Facebook over Instagram. And it's surprising because I only had the Instagram before. But when I'm adding to my network, I always just add like friends of friends of friends. And in the beginning, I made that huge mistake of like going through the thing where it says like suggested friends. And so because I didn't have Facebook, I'm like, oh, well, I went to school with her and okay, I went to there. And what I found is a lot of times, like it's pairing you up with those people and the people you may know, because somebody is posting something that might be similar to yours. So your, your stuff is syncing up with theirs and that's why it's putting there. Um, and you don't want to add those people that are already in the business with you, because obviously you want to leave your Facebook open, um, to having people that aren't in the business so that you can grow your network more that way. So always just follow. If you're like wanting to get inspiration, follow another distributor, do not add them. Um, but then other than that, I feel like that, like I said, that one's grown really quickly for me. Um, I feel like the biggest way for me to grow my Facebook network, I will be completely honest with you is where I had like an aha moment last month. And it's definitely the host of posts. Like they're absolute game changers. Um, I, I literally said it in my heart. I had prayed last month over my business and I wanted, I had talked to this girl at conference and she had said that she got 16 distributors in one month. And I was like, mind blown. 
And I was like, there's no way, you know, and I just prayed about it. And literally last month after praying and just like putting that forth, um, that effort, um, I did the host to post last month and I got 16 distributors. And so I just feel like really, it's just a matter of like setting your mind to something and knowing that you can achieve anything if you set your mind to it. And that is literally just it. Like if you tell yourself, like, I can't sign distributors, you guys, you are not going to sign distributors. Like if you tell yourself, I can't sign customers, I'm awful at this, you won't sign customers. It is all about your mindset, which is why the number one thing on our daily list is literally that it's, it's personal development because it's so easy, especially right now, you know, to get caught up in the negative. And so just really focus on the positives and tell yourself what you want so that you can set your mind to it and go for it. You guys, this is like a group of like really just excited people. And so we can go for a really long time. <laughs> um, and she's going triple this month also. So I'm super excited. Um, so <clears throat> you guys, it is literally that simple. It's making the decision that, hey, I want to grow my network and then just doing the things. And I think it comes back to your posts. Also, when you add people, if they come to your page and you look like a creep, right, they're not going to add you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like if you're not taking care of yourself, they're not going to yeah, ask your you. Your posts have to be bright and catchy. And like, I think a big thing too, is just like, I've seen like other people that are with the company and they're on a different team and they post like a lot of like products. And I feel like the way that Christy has us present our business is so classy, you guys. And so really, really utilize her tips because if you're using cute and bright photos of yourself and just throwing out that, you know, call to action, as she said, um, I just feel like that's literally what it is. It's just a classier way of promoting your business and it draws people in. It's more of like a blogger is what I guess you would consider it. You know, I've gotten told that before, before they're like, you, you just look like a blogger, you know, but yet we figured out you start, you're with a business obviously by some of your posts, but. Okay. Yeah. So I am glad that we are called classy because I don't really feel that classy if I'm being honest, but it's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's go on to interacting. And I could say a hundred times over that your posting goes along with your messaging, goes along with adding, goes along with your interaction. So who is super good at interacting? Because I'm going to be real honest. I am not the best. I am so good at replying to people's Instagram stories and I am so good on Facebook, but my Instagram newsfeed. I freaking suck at interacting there. Um, and I need to be better about that. So which of you awesome leaders is super amazing at that? I feel like, let me see. Mikkel, are you good at that? I just saw your face, so I lost it. Where'd she go? Savannah is, oh, is she? Okay, all right. Guys, there's so many of us on here. And I just want you guys to know too, like, Going along really quick with what Shani said while I'm looking. Savannah, do you want to share? She's like, sure, whatever. Um, so going along with what we were just talking about really quick, you guys, um, people like totally need us right now. Like they absolutely do. And we are going on a run and you can either jump two feet in and run with us, or you can be left behind because I'm going with you or without you. And, you know, we have to just believe that it is going to happen and take out anything negative. I am no longer sharing anything about anything going on because guess what? Everybody else is. So I'm going to be the 1% that stands out to them and shares. That's why I've been posting more videos of my kids, more videos of good things, more funny things, because I want them to be like, you're awesome. You're fun. You're focused on the good. And it's funny because literally in the last like 24 hours, I've already seen that everybody's kind of just over it. <laughs> They're like, all right, we get it. Like we're moving on now. Like, you know, we're going to get ourselves out of this hole and we're moving on, you know? Um, so, okay. Savannah. Hey, how are you? Savannah's going presidential diamond this month. Woo! So excited. So excited. Oh my gosh. It's been a long time coming. I haven't promoted in like almost two years since I went triple. So it's time. It's time. <laughs> okay, guys. So interacting. Um, I've honestly signed a lot of my distributors from interacting. Um, and it's not just like, oh, my gosh, you're so cute. But it's being heartfelt. And it's being, you know, there for people or, you know, quote, unquote, there for people when they need you. So um, I just go through my posts in the morning, you know, at night. And I just kind of see what's going on. Um, as I'm interacting, I'll even go like, – 
I just do full circle. So I interact and then I'll add their friends and it's just like, you know, you get into your own groove of it. Um, but I've had like one of my girls, Priscilla, she joined me a year after I had interacted on her miscarriage post, just telling her how sorry I was and that I was praying for her family. And you guys like those things go farther than anything else. Like just being able to be that person for people. Um, when they don't feel like they have anybody else and it can go as, as, as much as a message as well. Um, and just being like, Hey girl, I saw that, you know, you lost your job during this crisis. And I just want to tell you that you're going to be okay. Um, and I leave the business aside. And so interacting for me is like, I don't talk about the business. I just, I be myself and I let people know that I'm real. So I agree. And actually, short. I think I, I put a little too little emphasis on this because to be honest, this is everything actually, because this is relationship building. And not only does it make people sign up because they trust you and they believe your post, but also it helps when you actually do sign them that they trust you. So you guys, if you didn't know this, Savannah, I signed her up and I just love this story, but I mean, she blew me off and we were supposed to get together and go to Starbucks and meet and talk about the business twice and she just literally like just <laughs> just ignored me and blew me off and she didn't sign up for what was it like maybe six months from the first time we talked so we actually I thought it was that long but you friend requested me five years ago yesterday and I signed up the last day of May so it took about three months okay cool so yep. three months Lots of follow up, a couple of people blowing me off, but you know what? I kept interacting, I kept talking to her. Um, and I think this goes not just as far as posts, but as far as follow up. So, like, if you see that, you know, Savannah's uh, daughter is sick, like, you're like, hey, Savannah, I hope your daughter is doing okay. Like, you're being a genuine person, but you're showing them, like, hey, I'm not just here for business. Like, it's just like when, um, when, like, and, and people don't ever think that people think that of you. So how many of you guys have ever gotten like a card from like your dentist on your birthday or like a teacher or something like that? And you're like, this is just so nice. Like guys, they make money from you, from you going to them, right? Like you are their customer. Okay. But it feels good. It feels nice. It feels personal. And so, um, don't ever think it's like a negative thing. Um, and that really, really grows like your business with legit people. And I, I honestly think that's why, um, like Shandy's Facebook grew so fast because a lot of those people she knows in person. So they, they were like, okay, like, I know you're a real person, you know? Um, so, um, Alejandro, did you want to share? Cause you blown up the chat girl. <laughs> people don't sign up right away, but be real, be yourself, be consistent. And they will sign. That's what she said. Um, it's true though. That's why I'm like, I'm like, this is me. I can be cute, but also like, I don't care. But also if I'm busted, I'm going to still go live. Like that's, you know, I'm full package, you know, um, I'm going to carry myself well, but also I'm going to be myself. Um, okay. Follow up. Ooh, fortune is in the follow up. Oh my gosh. This is how you make all your money with customers and distributors. This is how you do it. This is follow up. Like what I was just saying with Savannah, I followed up with her. I followed up with her a lot. I interacted with her a lot. And I was like, are you going to sign up with my business? And this is what I always say, you guys, because um, when you are trying to build a relationship or you are interacting or you are growing your network or whatever it is, it can get kind of like annoying when you're like, hey, I really know you're going to do well. And then you just won't freaking sign up. So this is what I do. I have to disconnect. If I'm talking to you, I'm all in talking to you. If I'm not talking to you, I'm disconnected from you. If I'm not interacting on your posts, I'm disconnected from you because your potential list will get really big and you will start to, I don't know, it'll start to feel way down on you when you're following up with people and they might not all sign up or you're like, girl, like what, what are you talking about? Like, you know, like I'm being a real person with you. Like you can do this, whatever. So when I'm following up with somebody, I'm all in, but if I'm not, like talking to them personally, like they're just a name on a list or else it will start to be like, okay, we'll just wait another month <laughs> for you to join this business instead of get your nails done. It's fine. I'm just going to keep showing you. 
people will sign up when they see the value. That's what it is. That's just what it is. And I'm okay with that, you know, because when you sign up, when you're ready, that's when you're going to do the best anyways. Okay. Alejandra. Ali, Alejandra. Let me see. Um, and oh, you can share a little bit on personal development too, because I know you do that. And you all about that. Okay. Where's your face? Okay. I'm going to let you unmute for just one minute and I'm not going to, oh, oh, wait, there you are. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So hey. sorry, I look like a hot mess and I'm like this in the is, middle of the desert. This is my uh, life okay. friend. I'm sorry. Nothing. Okay. So, um, and see, it's so funny that you say that, you know, follow up and, and stuff like that and interactions. Well, they go hand in hand. And I honestly believe like follow ups are also interactions. It's like that it's, you can intertwine, you know, those two words because if I'm like, hey, Chris, you're going to join my team. Or if you had message Savannah, like, hey, girl, are you going to join? Hey, girl, you stood me up. Are you going to join? Hey, girl, are you not interested anymore? Hey, girl, um, you know, what's up? <laughs> join my team. Was what's like, up? Just, like, just here to follow up again. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just following up with you again. Or I'm just, follow you know what I mean? Like, you're obviously following up with me again, you know? And I'm going to like, leave you on red again. So, um, to me, follow up is simply like, Hey girl, how is your week going? Like, how was your day? Or if they post something like, Oh my goodness. Like that looks so good. You know, did you, how did you make that or whatever? You know, asking about their, um, themselves. I actually posted this in the chat because that's what we, um, that's what I really got out of Arizona when it comes to, um, getting to know your people, your potentials, um, form family, who they are their occupation, what do they do, where do they work, um, their recreation, what do they do for fun, um, motivation, like what do they want to do, what inspires them or what drives them. And I think that's really important because then you know, like, especially when talking to people, you know their why, you know how to follow up with them in a way that's not like, are you ready to join my team? You know, it's like, hey girl, I know you said that you wanted to make, you know, this extra income because your husband got laid off. Um, I'd love to help you with that, especially right now, girl. Oh my God, guess what? It's half off. Like, let's get you started. Sounds good. You know, it's like being assertive. It's being, um, it's, it's like trying to seal the deal, assuming the, the, the deal's um, done, but it's in a way that's like, you're reminding her, Hey, your husband got laid off because like you told me that, like we talked about that. And here I am just letting you know that it's half off. So, um, I think those interactions go hand in hand with, um, the follow-ups, if you know the person, they're more likely to join with you as a person, as a friend, then, um, I'm in Arizona, I'm in the Arizona desert. I can't, I can't handle this right now. Why do you look like you have a green screen behind you? Because I don't know how to take it off. I put it on and I don't know how to take it off. So I am just here. So I am sunset. dead right now. I, I was trying to so in hard to but I don't okay. understand. So this is, this is Zoom doing this to you, your computer? This is Zoom. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. I, I guess it's like a virtual background, but I don't know how to take it off. So that's just what it is. And you know what, you guys, it's cool because at this event, there was just black diamonds and like baller people. So I'm just putting myself, you know, in that scenario, as, you know, making it till, you know, faking it till I make it. But Anyways, um, make sure that you're just really real with your people. Make sure that when you're following up, it's very genuine. Um, Christy, stop. <laughs> Look here. I don't know what's happening. It's fine. I love you. You're, br you're bringing the lightheartedness. <laughs> Isn't that cool? But um, so anyway, so yeah, so that's just basically what I had to say. Making sure that when you are messaging these people that your mindset is in the right place too. Um, you know, you talked a little bit about that, that when you're doing your follow-ups, it's like you are messaging people knowing that they're going to sign up with you, you know, like you're confident because I have something that is life changing and I have a bomb product because I've tried it and it's given me amazing results. So go confidently, go boldly, but don't be annoying, you know, because like you will help them, um, tremendously with your business or with the product that you have. So, um, like I said, be real, be fun, make sure that they get to know you. And that's something that I love when people tell me like, Hey girl, I love how you were real. Like, I love how you were my friend. Um, and not just like spamming me basically all the time or being pushy because no one's going to join you if they feel pushed or forced, they're going to join you because, um, 
So someone said I, she got me to join by following up, asking me questions about myself and my life. So this is my girl, Naomi. And I'm so glad that she said this because this girl literally had two pictures, two pictures on her post. And she really didn't post much, but I would just ask her like, so there is not much on her profile, but I'm like, so where are you from? What do you do? You know? Um, but you know, now she's, now she's on the team and she's in a rocket and she loves the product. But another thing really quick, you guys, is that message that I'm going to post again, every time I add people, I, if they're private, obviously not, but once they request me back, cause I'm always private right now. Um, once they request me back, I will send them this message and it's basically like, Hey, my name's Alejandra. You know, I came across your page. Um, you know, you're super cute, whatever. I just wanted to say hi. And, um, and that's it. I don't mention what I do. I don't, if they ask, they ask, if it comes up, it comes up, but I don't bring it up. It's just like, where are you from? You know, oh, I see you have kids. They're so cute. How old are they? And I honestly start talking to people like I'm their best friend, you know? And I just assume that, um, yeah, it was, it got really hot, but, um, I just, I hate you guys. I just assume, um, <laughs> <laughs> I just assume like I know them. They're like my best friends. Just like on this video. That's how that's how we talk to each other. I don't hate anybody. I love everybody. But um, but welcome everybody. All the newbies are like, oh my god, what did I just get myself into? Ah, but it's okay. Um, this team is so much fun, you guys. Like we're just so much fun. But um I'm just gonna stop because I'm just gonna show that you guys the um, <laughs> message that I send. Send this, be real, have fun with it, um, and just have fun. I love that. Okay. So you guys, it's so true. That relationship is going to make it so that, yeah, maybe it takes them a minute to sign. Um, but when they sign, they're going to do really well and they're going to trust you and they're going to be with you and they're going to be your future awesomeness people. Okay. So, um, let's see, Stacy and Eliana, I want you guys to share a minute in a minute on personal development. So you guys, if you are new or even if you're not new, put in the chat if you have any questions about posting, messaging, adding, interacting, and following up. Um, and then the next thing is just follow that roadmap. It is your literal checklist. Like it doesn't, it's not freaking brain science, but you have to be willing to give it some time. You might have a network that is like, oh yeah, I'm all for it. And they might sign up all at once. Or you might have a network like me that was like a bunch of high school people I went to school with and they didn't like me and I didn't really like them. And I'm like, I don't know a little bit you. And I had to grow it. I had to show who I was going to become <laughs> and where I was going. And I say who I was going to become because whoo, that was not this person, right? So at the end of the day, like you just have to be here to reap your harvest. That's what it is. And I love it because honestly, in church, like everything you learn in church, I'll be like, oh my gosh, they're talking about my business. Like, I'm going to use this. And it's just awesome because like you guys are planting these seeds, every post, every message, every thing, but you have to be here for that fruit. And a lot of people plant seeds for me. And a lot of people have already planted seeds for you and they're not even here. And you're going to water them and you're going to pick them. And so you have to be here consistently every single day. Now let's talk about personal development because, um, I was talking to one of my girls yesterday and she's like, I know what to do. I just, and I'm like, okay, so everything you sent me, your five, you know, long voice message, it was based. I'm like, to sum us up, you're basically saying, you know, exactly what to do. You know how to do it. You just aren't doing it. And she's like, well, yeah. And I'm like, I'm going to say this in a really loving way. You're being lazy. Like you say you want it and I know you do want it, but I also realize that you're pregnant and you're tired, but like you have to, you have to be consistent even when you don't want it. You have to be disciplined. There are some times where I was like, Ooh, I don't really know how bad I want this right now. <laughs> like this, this girl, she's being mean, she's being negative. Like, do I really want this? And I'm like, Oh yes, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do it anyways right? And with this, just so you guys know, with growth also comes some trolls. Um, honestly, I haven't seen a negative post. I haven't seen a negative message, nothing at all in years on my page years, you guys. And we were going like we, we, I, we were talking to Joel this morning and we were on the zoom and if you guys don't know, Joel and Stephanie, number one income earners. Um, and he said like, we've been going pretty good the last few years. Like we've had momentum, but right now we're, we're about to like just change the waves. Like we are about to raise the tide of the whole entire company. 
Okay. And so with that, you're going to get that. I remember when I started, like there was people, when I started posting, they're like, Ooh, reps, Oh, reps, blah, blah. And I was like, shut up. But I continued anyways, right? I have not had anybody say anything or post anything in years, years. Okay. But the last couple of days, I've had a few people that I saw post and I was like, unfriend, 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 keep your blinders on. I don't care. I'm not even going to bother. I made this really awesome post last night and I was going to post it. And I was like, I'm going to sleep on it. <laughs> I was like, I was like I'm, it was very awesomely political, but I was like, I'm going to sleep on it because I know you can't do stuff in your mood. Right. And then I woke up this morning and I was like, that was like two out of like a million people who are so supportive. They are so awesome. Like there are a million people who tell me all the time, like, Hey, I'm not interested in ever doing your business, but I'm still going to support you. And I'm going to like your post and this and that. And so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let that 0. 0.0000 loser get in my way. Like I'm just not gonna. And so I never made the post. Okay. It was very good. So I might for you guys later, but I didn't, I didn't make the post. So this all comes down to mindset. You guys, if you want to be a part of the boom, you got to be willing to take sometimes what the boom gives you. It gives you like a hundred percent awesomeness, make a lot of money, change a lot of lives, be great. But also there's going to be like this one girl and you're like, she just don't even understand, but you know what? She just doesn't even understand. So you just unfriend her because she don't matter. Okay. Uh, Heliana, I saw your face for one minute. Oh, 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 oh. She's like, okay, mm find me. <laughs> okay. Hey girl. Hey girl. <laughs> okay. So share about personal development, what you do and whatnot. Okay. So every day for me, it's a little different. It kind of just depends what I'm in the mood for. Um, Alejandra has been leading these awesome uh, Sunday and a few of our other girls as well on our team. Sunday prayers. So then basically what she did was she suggested that we start with, um, you know, just being grateful with, you know, for 10 things every single day. And that's actually what I started with this morning. So basically just saying what I'm grateful for and with a prayer. That's exactly how I started my day. And let me tell you guys, it has made a world of a difference. Like today has been such an amazing day. I've been in such a good mood. Everything's been amazing at home. And it's literally because I'm just, I'm talking with God daily. And I, doing a prayer at night, doing a prayer in the morning, inviting him into my, my marriage, my life, my personal day to day, my business, you name it. Um, my messages, my posts, everything that I do. And then, um, as well. Okay. So self-development, you guys, um, I'm going to just kind of piggyback on what Amanda Bouchard, uh, shared a few days ago, actually, or I think it was last week's training. She did, uh, she talked about three different types of uh, self-development in this business. And I think that is so key. So number one, you have to be on trainings like this, you guys, this is a part of your self-development. So you can even scratch that for today if you want, you know, because you are learning something, you are doing something that's going to make you a better business owner. That's something that you have to be doing, whether it's a team training, whether it's a show me the money call on Pam Sauter's page whether it's, um, you know, a corporate training that they're doing or whatever it is, but it's something for you to learn for your business. And it doesn't even have to be, it works related. Um, you know, there's other things all the time from YouTube, like Gary Vee and you name it. Um, the second, you definitely want to do some type of self, self development spiritually. So whether it's your Bible, your devotional, um, listening to a podcast, maybe a service, something like that. Um, whatever just, you know, whatever fills your cup up with us spiritually, um, maybe it's meditation. Um, and then your third one, you guys, you definitely want to do like some books, some audiobooks, some, some audiobooks, some self-development videos, some motivational videos. And I always say, Hey, five, but five minutes is better than nothing. So if it starts with five minutes, you guys, I swear, I still remember it's called mind shift. I think that is, that is like my all time favorite five minute motivational video. It is freaking amazing, you guys. And I will never forget the, la the yes, my chip, the first day ever that I saw that video. I was at Christy's mom's house in her living room. Like, I think that's one of the days, I, I don't know if that's the first day I met you. I can't remember. Uh, well, I mean, met you, met you, because we actually went to middle school together. But anyway, after I went and after I saw that five minute video, you guys, I was like, oh my God, like I've never seen stuff like this. And ever since that, that was like six years ago. I just started watching videos all the time and just feeding my mindset and buying books and, you know, just all the time filling my cup up because you want to make sure that you are in a good 
just in a good state of mind, you guys, positive mindset when you're doing this business. Because in reality, I mean, they say this business is 80% mindset, but I honestly think it's almost 100%. If your mindset is not right, you are not going to find the willpower um, to get up and message and do the things that you got to do for your business. Like you literally have to fill your cup up spiritually and with positivity every single day, all kinds of ways, you know, and it just, it really falls on you guys on being independent business owners and just looking, seeking information. Do not wait for it to be always given to you, you know, seek information. You guys be researchers. You have YouTube, you have so many things. There's absolutely no excuses. We are in 2020. Why you cannot you know exactly why you can't be resourceful you absolutely can you guys there's so many books you can ask the team you can ask the sideline there is so many videos there's actually some um training videos uh threads on every page i believe um there's a bunch of stuff you guys um one of our girls i believe it's brenda she actually puts up a um a training video from like other top leaders on youtube every day she'll just play it you know she'll play a different one she's always like oh my god watch this one or watch this one this is so good and she'll share it with her team and it's just strictly learning you guys all you are doing is learning to become better business owners and just overall bettering yourself and you know becoming the best version of yourself so those are the the three things that you really need to be uh taking into consideration when it comes to self-development i love that and going along with that you guys if you want to be better, so how many of you guys are looking at some of the people who have talked and you're like, I'm just not like her. I can't talk like her. I don't look like her. I don't act like her. I don't have the knowledge like her. I felt that same way when I started to, even when I was diamond, even when I was double, I was like, I don't look like that person, but I want to be in that spot. Like, how's that possible? And the reason and the way that you guys get there is by personal development because not only is it going to give you confidence in yourself but you're going to realize that we're all actually not that awesome everything i say i've pretty much repeated from somebody else i might put a twist on it myself but when you read it or when you listen to it all of a sudden it is your own thought and so it's i'm not being a stealer but like yeah every single person in personal development that's exactly where it comes from you guys um i heard this on this YouTube video, I am basic guys. I literally type in like motivational videos on YouTube and there was this video and it said like, man, or maybe it was, maybe it was that, that thing on, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, it basically said if we could take our parents, their and their um, generation work ethic and our social media and our technology and combine them, if you can do those things together, you will be a bajillionaire. Like literally, that's what it is. That, that is the secret, you guys. It's that with this technology, it's almost too easy, right? Like it's too easy that it makes us lazy. If you can have the work ethic with the simple tools that we have today, you don't even have to freaking leave your house. Like, <laughs> I don't even get it, right? Like you don't even have to leave your house. For people like that even did direct sales 20 years ago, you guys, they were door to door. They were doing parties. They had to this. It was word of mouth only. It was person to person. If you opened up a business, like you can't just post on social media and grow your Instagram and have people flood your new bakery. No, like you had to go tell people, you had to go give them samples. You had to bring them in individually, tell them to bring their friends. Like you had to freaking hustle. If you can take that kind of work ethic and mindset that it doesn't even freaking matter how long it takes or how hard you have to work, that is when you're going to get the results. When I made it so that I no longer gave myself a choice or an out, right? I'm not saying that you have to quit your job. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when I decided that I was going to make X amount of dollars, no matter what. That's when my business started to grow at a rapid rate because I didn't have another option. So my mind on like already knew, okay, you're going to go find the people regardless. I, I decided I was going to be disciplined and do the things each day regardless. So it made the people come to me easier, better, faster, because they could feel that I wasn't going anywhere and that I was going to be here for them and I was going to do it with or without them. So take that work ethic of our parents' generation or, I don't know, 
your guys' ages, maybe it's your generation. I don't really know what the generation ages are anyways. <laughs> take that and take the technology. We are so freaking spoiled, you guys. And with this company, you don't have to keep stock of anything. You don't even have to go to the freaking mailbox to send samples anymore. Like literally, it is, honestly, it's stupid easy. And that's why you guys might sometimes be like, I'm afraid to message Chrissy because she's going to yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> my girl yesterday, but I was like, I'm not going to yell at you, but like, you have to understand that what I see is simplicity. Like it's, it is ridiculously simple, but this thing has to be right first. Um, okay. Stacy, are you available? I know I kind of called you out. Let me just make it so you can unmute yourself. So I don't have to search. Uh, Stacy, are you here? Sorry, I know she said she was going to be, but oh, 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 there's your face. Okay, ah! I muted the wrong girl. All right, there you go. Hey. Oh, I, okay. Hi. Sorry, it makes, give me a second. Sorry, um, back time. Anyways, um, hi. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> share, share a little bit of your story so that people know how awesome you are. Okay, so what I look like right now is not usually. <laughs> totally kidding. Um. Okay, so a little bit about me. I have been in the business uh, over six years now. It'll be seven years in September. Um, I started when I was um, working full time. I was expecting my first child, and I was work. Um, and I was a full time student. Sorry, I have a student. Anyway, so my. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, sorry. I had to. People were unmuting themselves. I had to change the setting. Oh my gosh. Sorry. 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 Your story is so good. Hold on. Just, just be cute. It's fine. Just be cute. I have to find your face again. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um, okay. So I actually, if you guys want to check out my Instagram story, I went like all in on my story, but I'm going to definitely share a little bit more here. Um, so anyways, I started seven years ago as a full-time student. I was um, working full-time. I, I was expecting my first child, Mason. And my, my days were full. I was working 7.30 to 4.30. I was going to school 6 to 9. And, you know, I, I didn't have time. But what I knew I needed was, was more time with, with my son. And um, I was actually, Christy and I actually went to the same high school. She was a year younger. So we didn't, we were like at the same parties and stuff. But <laughs> we didn't really know. She was a nice one. She was one of the nice ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um. But anyway, so I didn't really know who Christy was. I mean, I knew who she was, but I didn't really know her. Anyways, she had added me um, on Facebook way before she had started the business. But I started seeing her posts, and she never once reached out to me. She was never really interacting with me. I just saw – it was, like, the first post I saw of that that she posted. And it was um, – Emma was, like, a month or two old. And so – and I was just about to pop with Mason. So they're, like, very close in age. And she – all she said – was I'm something like, I'm so excited that I get to make money and I still get to be with my daughter. That got me. And I was like, okay, I'm about to go on maternity leave. I'm already struggling. Um, I need money. So I reached out to her and then two weeks later, um, I signed up and, um, that then actually I, I did really well pretty at first. Like I got my four customers and all of that, but then I'm sure a lot of you guys can, can, uh, um, relate to this, but I cared so much of what people thought of me, like so much that I took a foot out of the business. Um, and so I was still in, like I had one foot in cause I was watching and like, I knew it was an amazing opportunity, but I was just, I, I was so stuck on what people were saying about me and what they were saying about the company and yada, yada, yada. So I took a foot out and then it was, and I ended up having to go back to work because of this. So, uh, for a whole year, I missed out on Mason's life. I mean, like I said, my, my days were long and I got home at, after class at like 10 PM, he was already sleeping. Um, I'd wake up with him and then I drop him off at daycare. And so it just wasn't a life I wanted to live. And I realized on his first birthday, how much I have missed in his life. And I was like, okay, it doesn't matter what anybody says. Like, you know, this maybe it's easier said than done. Because I still, I mean, I do care what people think. I think we all should, but same point. Like if I'm doing something that makes me happy, something that's going to better my future and give me time with my son, I'm going to do it no matter what. And my true friends are going to support me. So that's kind of, even if I didn't believe it at the time, that's what I kept telling myself. Um, and so it was his first birthday. I realized how much I'd missed. And so I decided to put two feet back in. 
that was November of 2014. So over a year after I had started and then December, the next month I went Ruby and then Christy's like, okay, you got to go to conference. And so I was like, okay, whatever this means, but I'm going to do it. So I go to conference January of 2015, right before I went though, I quit my job. So I was totally stepping out on faith guys. I was, I had just hit Ruby. So it was not enough to quit my job, but again, I knew myself, I had work ethic and I knew that I wasn't going to let anybody stop me. And I was just going to go for it in Florida. I found out I was pregnant with miles. Uh, at my first conference. Um, and that was definitely another story for another day. Um, but I knew I was freaking out, but then at the same time, I was like, Oh my gosh, I really got to make this work. So anyways, I mean, I haven't stopped since then. It was February of 2015. I went diamond. Um, and then I went double and then triple and prez really fast. So I went from Ruby in December of 2014 to presidential in May of 2016. So in 18 months, I went from Ruby to presidential. Um, and it's literally the only secret is that I just, I put two feet in. I was hundred percent committed and I did not care what anybody said. Even if there were some negative friends, I just didn't care. Um, but then after presidential, that's kind of when life happened for me. I, um, I was married to my kid's dad and we decided to, you know, go through the divorce process and it was a year and a half long battle. And I, you know, I gained weight and I was depressed and, um, I had to, you know, navigate how to be a single mom. And so it was a totally different change for me. Um, but what I can say is that I never did stop working my business. And even on the harder days, I was just open about my journey and, you know, where I was at. And maybe I didn't share details and all that, but they knew where I was at and that this business is something that I could do no matter what. Um, and then shortly after my divorce was finalized, that was July of 2017, um, I attended the concert. And I know some of you guys have heard this, but that concert um, in Las Vegas, the shooting, the Route 91, the shooting, and that changed my life. But, you know, it, it's a horrible thing, and um, I don't know why it happened and all of that, and, I, and I, it still affects me to this day at times, like, you know, crowds and all of that. But I think that it just, like, made me want to be better. And so from that moment, that was October of 2017, that's when I decided to start losing weight and using the products consistently. I did not want to you know, live this life, just going through the motions. And I was a presidential and I was overweight. Like, so it doesn't matter what you look like. You can do this business. But at the same time, I wanted to be healthy for myself and for my family. And so, and I knew that if I did that consistently, that I would definitely go ambassador. And that was October of 2017. And so I started, I lost weight. I went down over 40 pounds and I just shared my journey with everybody. And I went ambassador just this last May of 2019, but I can tell you that my decision in October of 2017 to start using the products consistently for over a year and a half, that is what got me ambassador. It took a year and a half from that moment I decided to lose weight and use the products. But my journey, me, my story, sharing you know, every pound lost, every product I'm using on my story every single day. I planted so many seeds. People were watching me from the beginning and then they see my, saw my weight. Like, I mean, it was insane. And then, um, last, uh, the beginning of last year is when Thermophyte X came out. And so when people are seeing my results and I planted all of these seeds, like that is what got me ambassador. Um, and it was just one, one choice that I made to just be a hundred percent committed in, in the business. So back in 2015 when, when, or 2014, when I decided to put two feet back in, no matter what that decision changed my life, but then also my decision to use my products consistently and to just keep going, even though I was depressed and I was dealing with anxiety and I was dealing with the PTSD from the shooting and the divorce, I just kept going and I shared my journey. And I think a lot of people they're like, I don't know how to do this. And, and you know, I'm going through this and life is going to happen. And especially right now, life is happening for a lot of people, but we can be the light and we can show people that no matter what is going on, you can have everything that you want. Um, and so as a single mom, depressed and all of that, like that, none of that stopped me. And I knew that my, I could inspire and help so many people by just sharing what I went through and what I was going through in the moment, as much as it was hurting, it just, it just got me where I'm at. And so here I am. I've been top 100 for the last three years. And it's because of 
consistency. I mean, I just don't stop no matter what. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's my story. That's kind of long, but <laughs> no, I, I love it. And you guys, the reason why I, <clears throat> Oh, let me see. You guys can't see me. Um, the reason why I wanted her to share is because there's people going, there's people that have life going on right now, but regardless of what's going on right now, there's people who have life going on all the time. And we need to realize that we actually do have something amazing. And I don't know how many times people have said that because of this business, through the personal development, through having something positive to focus on, that changed their life through the personal development. Because I know personally, every single time I was freaking talking to her, she's like, yep, I'm doing my personal development. I'm listening to stuff. Like I'm fighting it. I'm not feeling it, but I'm still doing it. And it's in those moments and in the really good moments that you have to do it. Like it's just like prayer, right? Like how many of us, we, when things are hard, we're like, Oh, Heavenly Father, please help me. And things are great. And we're like, don't need you, you know, not consciously, but subconsciously, like we just forget, you know, like it, it becomes last on the priority list. And I can tell you that, that I do that too. But you guys, like it has to be first on the priority list and it has to be when things are really good and when things are really bad and everywhere in between. And I am like a really big believer in all of that. And that, you know, you need to do your scriptures. You need to pray over your business. I know people who have literally transformed their, their business and they were already doing the personal development, but the thing they were missing was praying over their business. Like literally, that's exactly what they were missing. They're like, okay, I prayed for the right people to come in my business. I, they're like, I do the work, I do the personal development. So what the heck? And I'm like, okay, well, have you prayed for the right people to come in your business? you know, and that is the one thing that changes. But I love Stacy's story because, you know, sometimes people look at me, they're like, but you know, everything is fine for you. You've never really had big things happen to you, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't mean that number one, I can't lead people that have had stuff happen to them, or I can't inspire them. Like we got to be the light, whether we have been through darkness or not we still have to be that, you know, and Stacy's story inspires so many people, but also there's going to be people that are like, but maybe I don't have a story because I haven't had anything crazy happen to me, you know, and that's when they're going to relate to me. <laughs> so you have to take it both. Like you can't make anything. It's anything an excuse. I can tell you from the worst of the worst that has happened to you, there's, there's a leader in this business that it has happened to. We've had people, I've seen leaders lose children. I've also seen leaders just be totally fine and just skyrocket to the top and nothing ever bad has ever happened to them in their life, you know? So you have to realize that like you're in hundred percent control, but this is what's in control. And as you guys are, a lot of you guys are quarantined. I mean, not everybody. Um, I have had to really up that. Like, I'm like, Oh, I'm good. And then by like 11, I'm like, I am not good. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna go lay out. And Aaron's like, it's really cold outside. And I'm like, I don't care. I'll put on a sweater. Like I've had to really up that personal development. I didn't think I was going to have to, cause I'm like, my lifestyle is not that different, but I think it's the fact of the matter of there is going to be like, you, you can't leave. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. And so that makes you feel like, like, what am I supposed to do? Like even just my morning routine, you guys, I've told you a hundred times over the reason why I really believe I'm, I've gotten here is from my routine because my routine made me disciplined in the work as well as the personal development. My routine is, is all out of whack. I can't wake up and go to the gym and do my personal development there. So I'm putting on my gym clothes <laughs> in the living room and I'm like, okay, babe, I'm gonna put on some headphones and like try to work out. It's really hard. But anyways, you just got to figure it out. Like you just got to figure it out. You got to be the person that, you know, when we are just freaking people right now, oh my gosh, everybody is enrolling so much. Okay. You got to take advantage of it. Like you got to, you got to show people like what we're made of. So long story short, <laughs> Um, I will let you guys go. But last thing you guys for the end of the till from now till the end of the month, you get to start distributors for only $49. Okay. And if you guys didn't know this, they get an extra $50 cash bonus when they earn their $150 shopping spree. Okay. That's so important that you know that because a lot of people need cash, not only now, but I mean, I signed people up last year that were like, I can barely, you know, pay pay for my food for my kids. So, um, that's super important and free shipping. 
Okay. Free shipping over $99 is still available through the end of the month. Don't forget that. That's, that's amazing for customers. Okay. So I will let you all go and let's go get some work and sign people. All right. Yeah. Don't hold back. Ev ask everyone and day mama go live every single day. Just freaking blow it up. I'm blowing it up. I don't care what nobody thinks. I'm going to sign like 80 distributors. I'm going to do it. All right. All right. Bye guys. Happy Monday.